This right here, this is classic Jarvie. Classic. Hey, hey. And another in the series of where is Jarvie's Airstream Park tonight, we've got a rest stop. It's exciting. Like old school faith <laughs> yeah. in it. Wait, I am still doing the project. So I guess this is right now, Jarvie. Waking up at a rest stop. Scrambling around to find, well, waking up at a rest stop because you couldn't make it to your destination because you got so tired driving. And now you're scrambling to find a couple of churches and you stumble upon greatness. It just happens. I don't know if you call this greatness, but it's nice. It's pleasant. It's different. Uh, it's good. All right. All right. Here's the situation. No sunrise, overcast, not many leaves on the trees around here with, with, the promise of great, you know, great fall colors just down the road and me being in a total hurry and just all that stuff. And I can't bear to not, or I can't bear to be on a freeway at the time of sunrise. Even if there isn't a sunrise, I can't bear to be. And I'm in a city. It's not like it's that great. I just, I just can't bear to be on a freeway during the sunrise time. I mean, it is... Even with all those things working against me, I'm still just driving through the city, not even taking that hey, many pictures. I did what needed to be done, back on the road. The clouds kinda, kinda look interesting though. Well, whatever, I'm doing what I need to do, drive. All right, so you know what I'm thinking? Since this is like the first time I've been like going cross country on the road all day since I started the daily vlogs, kinda, I think, sorta. In any case, let's just kind of take you through a day. And part of the day, sometimes a couple times a day, is gas. Luckily, it's only like 265 these days. I've I've had to pay upwards around four at times on this on this project. So, all right, still in Virginia. This is all yeah, big. You know what? Thing. I'm already liking this idea because I really would love to have a day where it's just like, yeah, those were the typical days. And part of the typical <laughs> days. Is chocolate milk. Trying out chocolate milk in different areas of the country. Yeah, I don't drink soda anymore, but I drink chocolate milk because I'm so hungry in the mornings and chocolate milk fills, just does the trick. It really does. And it tastes good. Sometimes. And sometimes it's crappy. Um, but this, I've never, I don't think I've had this one before. Marva made. Amongst the best. I am very pleased. A lot of times I expect them to be crappy and it's good. And then I got one of their local, like, bacon, egg, cheese sandwich. Let's just try it out. Just at the gas station there, where a bunch of old guys were just sitting around, hanging out. And, All you know, right. I can only go so long on a freeway before I'm like, I gotta get off, take pictures. Um, and I'm listening to talks about, usually they're, you know, the typical day back in, you know, when I was driving around, I listened to a lot of Neil A. Maxwell talks, and I listened to a talk about him. So we're going to pause that. You smiled and wiped your brain. Pause. Alright. Yeah, so just off and about, this road parallels the freeway, so I feel fine and comfortable driving it. I'm driving like 55, where I'd normally be driving 65, so it's not a big loss. And uh, a lot of drive-by photography. Maybe I'll document a little bit of that, because that is definitely the daily life. A lot of farms I try to get. I try to avoid these power lines. Hopefully they go away, then I'll start working on it. How many small towns like this have I driven through? It's just, this is just typical. Oh, typical Jarvie. Driving through a small little town. Let's drive all the way through. I've got it on my my little car mount thing. Oh, well, maybe not, because it's gonna be a stoplight. Okay. Okay, so there's a bank. There's a, like a little town hall. And hopefully, I'm looking for a couple of easy churches to pick off. Oh, oh, here we go. So, one on the, one on the right for sure. Is this one on the left? No, it's a municipal building. So, just see how difficult is this going to be. Oh, good, there's a stop. Pull over. Right here. And there's a church over there and the one behind us. So, let's go take a cup, get out of the car for a few minutes. Let me get my shoes back on. This is just, this is so typical. I'm glad I'm recording a day like this. And I'll probably say it a few more times. Grab my camera. Battery's dead. Look around for one of my batteries. I think they're on the Airstream. 
I think they're all charged. Yep. Well, here we are. And you know what? Maybe we call this video the the not as glamorous life as you thought of Jarvi on the road. Cold, drizzly wet day with not beautiful skies and you just gotta work hard to make it work at a church which while beautiful is also so similar to how many hundreds that I have seen. Um, but you, you get past that and you learn to create even when you sometimes think it's been done before. What's the point? I've taken this shot a hundred times and do I have to do it in every state? But you keep on working and a small little town driving through Main Street unplanned just sometimes you stop and sometimes you don't and sometimes you get the shot and sometimes you don't and you share the shots that work and uh, let's go I'm trying to figure out this one I think maybe I have to go across the street and just wander around for five minutes or so get back in the Airstream keep going and I'll probably jump back on the freeway because I got some I got some ro miles to cover so this video I can tell you right now it's gonna be a long one because it's a long day seen this scene before a hundred times going to across the sidewalk or across the street to try to just like get it barely in between these street lights and then having my airstream parked over here and and you know aiming for those locations where you've got two churches easily accessible with nice parking i mean if we're going to talk about the great quantity of pictures in this book it's going to be from situations like that. <laughs> Where there's a couple of churches together and there's good parking. <laughs> it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You don't got beautiful days every day. So that has definitely been a theme of my project is that uh, I've had to take pictures in plenty of unfortunate lighting situations. So, middles of days because, you know, you're working all day long. So, here we go. This one is actually a little easier. Except for this yeah, one I line. I think this is somewhat of a historical type thing. It's historical for me. And it just seems like a great day and idea to record like a typical day that, you know, it's probably not going to be terribly exciting. <laughs> well, that's perfect. And misting now. That's somewhat beautiful. I'm gonna take a snow phone shot of that. Tennessee, Tennessee, but a bumpa Tennessee. I don't know the song. Who remembers it? I'm in Tennessee. How many of you stop at state lines and get pictures with the signs? State lines with the signs in your minds? I don't. Not really. Sometimes but not usually. But let me tell you, let me tell you what I do pretty frequently, and that is cross state lines. <laughs> I think this is the third time through Tennessee on this trip, and I still don't feel like I really know it that well. Well, you gotta listen to the body. The body says rest stop, take a nap. I don't wanna be, dang un I don't wanna be dangerous. I don't wanna cause myself any danger, I guess I should say. So it's time for a nap, I guess. Oh, look at that. Maybe I could take a picture of that barn. Uh, nice. Okay. I want to get to Nashville, but I'm tired. And I'm like, I slept a lot last night. But it's, I've already been up for a long time. <laughs> All right, here we are. I dressed up. Okay, I took my nap. Now it's time to get back on the road. I'm late. But that made everything feel better. And that's a nice little scene. Even if it is still lucky sky. See this. Look closely. It's snowing. But I don't consider this driving in the snow, obviously. Which I have yet to do with an Airstream. And it freaks me out. It does. Because... It's a trailer, and a car towing a trailer. It, it freaks me out, let's just say that. <sighs> so, this weather thing, I've been looking. 
trying to figure out if I can make it to Kansas City safely. Let's see how that goes. So, some things to think about as I drive, and I gotta get off and uh, get some more uh, gasoline. All right, getting propane. Something I do, not very often. In the winter months, something I do more often. Just something that happens. Well, I just had to get off the freeway. I saw this church as I was driving down the freeway, and I was like, you know what? Time to get off the freeway again, take a few more pictures, and that's what I did, and that's kind of what happens. Oh, and another church and here. another church. Yep. This is very much like what I did for a year. Driving around, hit small little towns like this. Crab tree or something like that. Crab apple. Um, Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee, Tennessee. I still want to know the name of that song. Is it just called Tennessee? Quaint little and, town. And just like that, I'm back on the road with Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. Ah, uh, do I stop, do I stop? I do, I stop. Dang it, I missed it. I had to go around, because that was good. I was gonna say, I've got three churches in a matter of just like 10 minutes. Um, because the first one took a little while, the other ones were like just a couple minutes extra. And, uh, but the truth is, I got four. A little slice of America with one little city here in Tennessee. This St. Anthony's Anglican. I don't have a ton of Anglican, I don't think. It's gonna be crazy, but we're getting out for this one. <laughs> getting out of the car. This is serious business. This one just has too many trees there. And I feel like getting out. Well, here we are. It's night. I feel like I missed showing you guys some stuff. But that's because I was photographing while, uh, while chatting on the phone with my friend Peter Hollins, who's a, a really good musician, YouTuber, and you guys may know because you're using YouTube. So, you know, he's on there too. There's only a few of us. <laughs> Any case, as I chatted with them and drove, I took tons of pictures of churches and I just thought to myself, holy cow, Tennessee has a lot of churches. Just a ton. And the skies broke and the sunset was pleasant and the light was pleasant and you can see that we're at the end and I got thinking to myself do I keep on going down this off you know off the beaten well that's to light me up off the beaten track road well not the main freeway where I can stop and do stuff pull off take pictures of churches and then I was like I've got to beat this storm there's a storm going to tent to Kansas City I've got to get over there and get my books but I'm gonna go meet with someone and have dinner so that should be the next clip-ish, right? So, you know, I just kind of want to say a couple words about the day. This is, I put in a whole heck of a lot of miles. I photographed probably a dozen churches. I've listened to a lot of talks and podcasts. I talked on the phone. It's just a good demonstration of a day. And there's details that maybe weren't in the video, but I think you kind of get the feel for it. That's what I'm hoping. Maybe I'll do another couple of these because I want to look back and go, I want to have some videos that give me the feel for what this trip was generally about. Not just the super exciting things that happen here and there that do also tell the story, but those general days I want to kind of document. Document those those times that happen many times when I'm driving down a freeway like this and there's beautiful skies out there and I just, I'm like this, I'm like holding it in, I'm like, oh, I can't believe I'm not in a spot where I'm taking pictures. But there's a reason that I'm not there because I have this other thing going on that I have to get somewhere. Uh, you know, it's just like, I'm holding it in. I can do this, I can do this terrible skies all day and now it's all of a sudden it's great at the perfect time of the day but I'm on the road I'm en route, I'm going <sighs> character building, that's what I say character building well, Tennessee is serious about their brochures <laughs> holy cow this is a nice little rest stop here
Brochures everywhere at this rest stop. So, all right, it's getting chilly. Just trying to figure out what I'm doing if I'm driving through to Kansas City or I'm gonna stop in Nashville. It of course makes me sad that I am not stopping to see more of this landscape and there's just, this country is so huge. Even Tennessee is just, it's forever big. It's huge, just driving all day long to get across it. There's so many things I could have seen. Uh, I mean, that's the same every state, right? All right, here's where I'm parked. It's dark, I know. That's what happens at the end of the day in night. Nashville. I'm gonna park here with my friend who teaches photography. He's over there somewhere in the dark. There he is. It's, <laughs> Can you, it's a little bright, isn't it? Just a little bit. All right. Get some electricity, charge up some batteries, and get ready for the cold. I just can't drive late at night. That's how it ends. Every 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 night out on the road, it's like I can't drive anymore. I need it. But luckily, I have a place to pull over and sleep.